Welcome viewers, my name is Fatima Sisse, and joining us today is Miss Joyce Akuma, also known as Mama Zimbi. She is the founder of the Mama Zimbi Foundation. She is also one of Ghana's leading television and radio hosts. In her show, The Mama Zimbi Show, she talks about relationship, marriage, and sex. Yes, I said sex, viewers. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today, Mama Zimbi. Thank you, too, for having me, Fatima. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And yourself? <laughs> I'm, I'm terrific. Midasse. Ah, Midasse. Mid <laughs> Midasse. What, what does that mean again? Midasse means thank you. Oh, in what language? The Chi language. Oh. A Khan language. Got Midasse. it. <laughs> Got it. I'm learning by the second. So tell hmm. me about your foundation. Thank you. Mama Zimbi Foundation is an NGO, non-government NGO. It was formed about 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah, and then we work with women, especially widows. Great. So um, what, yeah. what do you do with these women? Thank you so much. This part of our country, widows go through so many things. We are like outcasts. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to hear their story. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to help them, including their children. So I, I, I gather them, educate them, inspire them, give them confidence, and also motivate them. That at the end of their, at the death of their husband, that is not the end of the world. Even if the relatives of the husband have neglected them, no. There is a beautiful light, a brighter light at the end of that tunnel. Great. Yeah, I understand that, you know, some Ghanaians are, some Ghanaian widows are like, um, what do you say, blamed for their husband's death? Some are even yes. thrown out of their houses after their husbands died. Yes. Like, please elaborate yes. on that. Okay. Um, all I'm seeing is, as, uh, <laughs> it's not every widow who is that vulnerable. Mm -hmm. We have very rich widows who are okay. The majority of these women who are widows are very, very vulnerable. At the death of their husband, they are accused of killing their husband. Therefore, they do not enjoy their husband's property, including their children. Now, some widow would write um, when the corpse is brought from the market, you'll have to sit by the cow to prove your innocency. They are certain food you don't have to eat. Wow. See, the amazing thing is, that's where widow would write that women go through, that widows go through. That, 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 that is so bad. They are so weird, weird, weird. And I stand against it. Wow. So I also understand that some of these women are forced to even like sleep with their husband's corpse. I don't, oh. please explain that, yeah. You see, we, we hear all those, but what I really meant was the cops will be in that room and you, 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 you see, they, they go through so many things. You see, some of even don't even see the cops. Wow. Yes. Wow. So... Yes. And then, uh, you see, they are forced to do certain things against their yeah, which they don't even say. Wow. You see? Mm -hmm. they, they'll pass it through this little you know, right? And then you, 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 you it's like, you, you are left as they hate. If you don't make anybody, you die. Or, if you don't want your husband to get to the, the next after life, then there's an issue. So you, you, the, the family of the man is going to force you to go through things you will do against your wish. Nice time for you that it's no, because it's just the women who they go through this. Men, women die, don't go through this. 
Wow. So why is that gender equality? Yeah, that's something we have to look into. So um, <laughs> you mentioned that your organization provides education to the women. How, how do you do that? All right. Thank you so much. You see, after she has stayed with the husband for so many years, and at the death of the husband, mm -hmm. it's not enjoying anything. Now she's left with you. Okay. So we, 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 we put life back into them, but giving them education in simple, simple skills. You know, and then we give them soft loans to okay. start doing something on the air. Okay. You see, for, for the Magic Foundation, the most important thing is every widow should get self confidence, she know her work, okay. and then be economically empowered to take care of herself and the children. Great. That's the basic education keep all our widows. Okay. So mm -hmm. you also you also provide the women with jobs in terms of you know I'm seeing um, mango farm charcoal making. Do you also provide other jobs besides the agricultural field, like in technology? Um, thank you so much. Let me say, what it says is, I give them the money okay. to trade in things that will be so comfortable and then profitable for them in the community they live in. So we have some widows who are into charcoal making. There are others who are in beets. There are others who are food vendors. There are others who are farmers. You, you get me? Because we have mm -hmm. different different villages and the things they do. So they don't do one thing. They do different types of things. Okay. Great. Do these women, do you only deal with women or do you also deal with women with kids? You know, being that they're widowed, of course, some of them have, you know, had children. Sorry, you have to ask the question again. Um, do, you all, do you always deal with only women or do you also deal with women with kids in the foundation? This woman who is a widow, mm -hmm. with kids or without kids, you need to be empowered and be your own. Because, you, you see, it, it, it's in all the families. The moment your husband is dead, you are looked at in a different way. Especially if your husband is well to do. Then, your, your husband I mean, will blame you for him. And therefore, they see that you don't even enjoy anything to get to you, you and your children. That is what most widows go through. You wow. see? Yes. It is some even we widows do what they have done. Mm. But at the end of it, the families can start them. Because you, you, you know, you know that a woman we don't do well. So everything that a man buys is in his name. So it's like you 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 use your money for and let me use my money to build a house. Mm -hmm. Let me use my money to buy the car. You are the same. So at the best of your husband, what, what can you claim? You don't have receipt for anything. Wow. So I but understand. Are lost. Oh, I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah, sure. I'm saying they are lost. But ask, how many women know those laws? Lack of knowledge my people perish. So a lot of them don't even know that there's a law in the PNDC 111. You see, that even even your husband dies and he hasn't done any will, you and your children have a, a property to, to, to enjoy. You have your share of the cake. Yeah, I was actually going to talk about the interstate succession law in which um, which came in place when J.K. Rollins was in power. Um, do you feel like that law is being used right now, or does it need to be upgraded? Certainly, they are working on it. But okay. It's fast. It's fast. The laws are there. Some women know, and they are fighting. But majority of the people know the simple basic things. So, 
when they are asked to leave their house, they do. Okay. Why they don't have anywhere to stay? They leave. They don't even go to report to the police. Wow. They are scared. You see, because the, the system is strong. Tradition is strong. African tradition is strong. Our customs are so strong. You know, so you need to take some time. That's why I'm giving widows education. You know, and also with other traditional rulers too. Because you need to understand yeah. that what is that? If I die, my husband goes for free, can do whatever he wants to do. Mm -hmm. You know, he can be married, he can do so many things. Even when I die and I'm not even buried, there are girls that come to the house. But when he dies, mm -hmm. he's a woman, you are held responsible. Yeah. You see, at some places you are asked to marry the brother. Yeah, that's, uh, the that's brother. outrageous. But what is it if you love somebody you don't know? Yeah. Love grows, baby. Yeah. It takes time to know each other, and our love grows. How come sometimes you might be with your husband for so many years, you will never even see any siblings of him? But as a guest, whether they fly, whatever, magic, they appear and they start giving you weird, weird instructions. Wow. Yeah. I, I was actually going to, you just touched on that a little. Um, I was going to ask you, some of these widows, do they get remarried? Oh, yes. I thank God. But some of them, I mean, when they need to marry, they go. They go talk to their traditional leaders, the families, and they allow them to go and marry. So, yeah, they're okay. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> it doesn't be easy, Fatima. We are so fighting. <laughs> yeah, you have to. So now let's switch gears a little bit. Tell me more about your show, the Mama Zimbi Show. Oh, okay. It, it's called Odo Ahumaso. Mm. Odo Ahumaso. It's a love line. Mm. Odo Ahumaso. It's a love line. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. My 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 show is uh, Odo Ahumaso is a, a relationship, marriage, and sex. A family issues that we discuss mm. on the show. Yes. Our video is Wednesdays and Saturdays. You know, okay. on Wednesday, Wednesday, Saturday, on Amazon FM. And on TV, mm. it's Thursday and Friday on Adam TV, multi TV. Okay. 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Okay, great. We'll check yeah. it out. It's but, <laughs> solid yet. Okay, what I want to talk about is your topics on the show, like sex, for example. You know, sex is, you know, taboo for a lot of Africans. So even bringing up the word sex, you know, is an issue. So tell me, how do you feel talking about that so freely? Yes, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's difficult to talk about sex. Especially this part of our country, Africa, Ghana. Mm -hmm. So I broke the eyes the year 2000 mm -hmm. and said, should only be done when you're married. <laughs> and if you have to be done, it has to be done well. Okay. Now, if you're not married, do not allow anybody to break your virginity or be sleeping with you. Sex is for the marriage. The married people. Mm. No marriage, no sex. You said if you're not and married, you don't have sex? And if you're married, if you're married, and you want to do sex, it must be done well. It must be done wonderfully. You both need to enjoy and wanting to do it again and again <laughs> and again and again. But now why are you laughing? <laughs> no, I'm just if listening. You have, friend, you have a boyfriend who hasn't married you. Stop making love. You hey. have to stop it immediately. Mm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Viewers, do you hear that? <laughs> am, am, I, am I stepping on your toes? Oh, no, 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 not at all. I'm just learning. <laughs> <laughs> then you, you have to learn it because you need to learn sex. You have to learn it. 
Mm. Black like you have your own style and then you must start playing. Okay. You see, we just don't say come and no, we have to make them. Mm. Yeah. So what we reception do you get from people? Say that again. What reception are you getting from you know your audience or your fans? They love it. They love they it. it. <laughs> I was sorry. From age eighteen to one hundred and twenty. Wow. And everybody listen. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Well, good luck with your show. And I just wanted to ask, what impact do you wish to have on? these women that you work with, with your organization? Oh, the impact is they are really happy. They are OK. okay. They, 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 they seem that it's good to be empowered. If you know your rights, it's, it's wonderful. And then those also, who are not your readers, are working hard. A lot of women are in this now. I mean, they, they, are, they are saying, hey, you need to add my name. I can't be using my money for us to eat. You know, if you are staying with a man who hasn't married you, he needs to go and, and perform the right. So that at the death of your husband, mm -hmm. you will be recognized completely. Great. So mm -hmm. if someone want to get in contact with you, how can they do so? Oh, yeah, mamazimbi at gmail.com. Straightforward. <laughs> hello, hello. Mamazimbi foundation at gmail.com. Okay. You, you're asking of my email address. Okay, yeah. Do you have social media handles like Twitter or Instagram? Oh, yeah. My Twitter handle is at Akuma. Okay. At Akuma. Okay. A-K-U-M-A-A. Okay. A-K-U-M-A-A. At Akuma. Okay. Right. My fan page on Facebook is Akuma Mama Zimbi. Okay. My fan page on Facebook Akuma Mama Zimbi. Okay. Got it. Mama Zimbi. Yeah. My YouTube is also Akuma Mama Zimbi. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Well, viewers, that was Mama Zimbi, Miss Joyce Akuma of the Mama Zimbi Foundation. Stay tuned, there's more to come.